hi in this video we will discuss some example on the, on indicial notation using both free indents and also repeated indents so example one so consider this equation y i is equal to a i j h j plus b i k c k so first so first let us try to write out which are the free indices and which are the repeated indices so we can observe here that j is been repeated twice and k is also been repeated twice which means j and k are going to be our repeated indices repeated indices this is and i it has been repeated once here once here once here fine whether it has been repeated in each and every term yes so in lhs it has been repeated once in rhs also there are two terms it has been repeated and it is it has been repeated in each and every term so i can be accepted as the free index so i is a free index and the h plus and uh, which means i can able to expand this and write it so i can write this one as so first let us try to expand over the repeated index and then we will go on with the free index so this means y i is equal to a i one h one plus a i two h two plus a i three h three plus the second term b i one c one plus b i two c two plus b i three c three fine so i have expanded this one with respect to j and k which are nothing but the repeated indices now let us expand this one with respect to free indices so if we expand this one with respect to free indices we get three equations so the first equation will be y1 is equal to a11h1 plus a12h2 plus a one three h three plus b one one c one plus b one two c two plus b one three c three. So if we expand over y, y two will be a two one h one plus a two two h two plus a two three h three plus b two one c one plus b22 c2 plus b23 c3 similarly y3 is equal to a31 h1 plus a32 h2 plus a33 h3 plus b31 c1 plus b32 c2 plus b33 c3 so we can observe that we can put this one in the matrix form as y is equal to a square matrix a multiplied by a column matrix x plus the b matrix the square matrix b multiplied by the column matrix c so this is the explanation of the above example so let us look at one more example example 2 so let us try to expand the equation y i is equal to a i j h j plus 
बी के एल सी एल So the first step is to write out the repeated and free indices. So let us do that. So here, so J, it has been repeated twice, and L is also been repeated twice. So J comma L are the repeated index. J and L are the repeated indices. Fine. Whereas if we observe I, it has been repeated once here, once here. That's it. And this K, it is standing alone. So this cannot be accepted as a indicial notation. This is not a way to write the indicial notation. We cannot expand this equation. So what what should I do to expand this equation is I have to replace this k by i so that I can expand it and this i has to be appeared e, this i is nothing but the free index so it has to be I appeared in each and every term so if I replace this k by i replacing this k by i the equation becomes stable and we can able to expand it in initial notation. So if I expand, I'm going to get the same equation as above. Fine. So I hope you understood uh, how to expand the free index and also the repeated index. If there is any issues or any doubts, you please put it in the comment box so that I can reply. Thank you for your attention. See you. Bye.